Good morning and welcome to day 20 of the Serving Challenge here at Ascension Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Scott coming to you this on this day, the halfway point in our journey together. Today is day one of uh, the third aspect of what it means to serve like Jesus. And uh, this third aspect is action. Action. Um, the first um, aspect was attitude and then availability and now action. You think about a, a movie, um, you know, making a movie action. Andrea yells action every time we're ready to record. She doesn't. I made that up. But it would be awesome if she did, if we had one of those things. Um, and obviously action is about doing something. Doing something. And the reflection today, I'll put the book down because I keep flailing it around. And the reflection today, Pastor Zach talks about um, the woman who poured that costly perfume over Jesus, uh, somewhat ceremonially preparing his body for death, even though um, typically it was only after death that uh, a body was treated with perfume. And the disciples got frustrated and said, you know, that was, it was costly. It was like a year's wages to pay is what that, if they could have sold that perfume for. It could have given the money to the poor. And, uh, and Jesus, you know, said, no, it's fine. She has done a beautiful thing. And every time the gospel is preached, she'll be remembered. And I think it's important. It, in some respects, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense why somebody would waste, right, um, a valuable resource um, in such an impractical way. But yet it demonstrated her extravagant love for God and her doing something that doesn't make sense from a human perspective. We've, as we looked at... Uh, I've been reading through the Gospel of Mark. We've, we've um, looked at the Passion Predictions um, back in, in uh, February. And one of the things after that first Passion Prediction in Mark chapter 8, um, when Peter rebukes Jesus, Jesus then in turn rebukes Peter and says, you've set your mind on human things, not divine. We count up the cost of costly nard in human um, in a human calculation and not in a divine calculation to say that this is really of God, something well beyond, may not make sense from our worldly perspective, but it does make sense when you're doing it um, in service to God, acknowledging who Jesus is and how important he is in your life. I think in the same way as we move into this week of action, these seven days, we'll be looking at this action aspect, we may find ourselves doing something extravagant, something that doesn't make sense from a worldly perspective, um, but we're doing it in response to the extravagant love we ourselves have first received. The challenge today is to do something extravagant for somebody else. Um, and I stand here this morning next to the font thinking about is that that perfume is poured upon Jesus' body, thinking about the water that is poured out upon each and every one of us as a reminder that we too um, have been made clean, have been um, brought into right relationship with God through the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ, an extravagant gift um, for each and every one of us. So the question is, how do we respond? How do we respond to that gift that no, no, none of us deserves? It's been good spending this part of this day with you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. It's Friday, the end of the week, um, and uh, getting ready for another weekend um, together. Take care.